And here he comes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Tri-State Stampede Championship. Making his way to the ring, representing the Megastars from New York. Weighing in at 228 pounds, the fighting champion, Gordon! Here we go, guys. We're going to finally have a champion after this one. And you'd have to imagine these superstars are feeling the pressure here. You don't come into a match of this magnitude without feeling it at least a little bit. We should also mention that there's plenty of ill will when it comes to these superstars. Which means these guys are likely more determined than ever to prove their superiority here tonight. Here we go, guys. Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. And representing the Megastars from New York, weighing in at 218 pounds, the action champion, Clark Kent. Ladies and gentlemen, by night's end, we will crown a new champion. No offense to you, Cole, but part of me wishes Gorilla Monsoon was here for this match, just so we can hear him say, history has been made at the conclusion.
And guys, you have to respect how much pride he has in what he does. I don't know, Michael. I understand the importance of having pride in what you do, but sometimes I think he can be a bit overbearing. I don't know if he means to be, but that's definitely how he comes across at times. He's here and holding two championships. And representing Too Cool from New York, weighing in at 185 pounds, the WWE Action All-Star Classic Fighting Worldwide Champion and one half of the WCW World Tag Team Champions, the Right now, he has never been more confident nor more proud. This is an accomplishment on a different level. Well, just think of the road he traveled and what he endured to be here tonight, holding two championships. Well, it has to be recognized that right now, we are witnessing dominance on another level. We have never seen a landscape this competitive, and yet he stands before us holding multiple championships. No one's in his league, and he's got the hardware to prove it. Two championships. You better believe all eyes are on him. All right. I love this guy. Representing Too Cool from Parts Unknown. Weighing in at 268 pounds. One half of the World Tag Team Champions, The Masked Man! Here we go, guys. We're finally going to crown a new champion here tonight. Cole, this match right here is the absolute definition of history-making. Whoever wins this will forever have their name in WWE history books. And that's really saying something. I'd say that he's among the most prideful superstars on the roster today. Well, when you accomplish what he's been able to accomplish, Michael, you have every right to be proud of yourself. And here he comes, double the gold, double the bragging rights. And representing Too Cool from the good old USA, weighing in at 210 pounds, the world heavyweight champion and one half of the WCW World Tag Team Champions, Lex Luthor. Just think about the grind that comes with being a double champion. As great as the glory is, the hard work that comes with it is no joke. Yeah, he may look good showing off the gold, but he's got to look good defending it as well. Otherwise, it'll be gone. The double champ is here, and the level of oxygen in the room has changed. Holding those two championships, he's making his assault on the WWE history books. Those two titles adding a little swagger to and his walk. Representing the megastars from London, England, weighing in at 230 pounds, the WWE Universal 
champion and the action champion, Butler Alpha. It's got to be twice as nice carrying around two titles. I don't know, Saxon. That's a lot of weight to carry both physically and mentally. The target on his back is now twice the size. Standing tall with both of his titles, he's not planning to let go of either one of them anytime soon. Double champ in the building. Skills so nice, they call him champ twice. And their opponent, representing Too Cool, from the good old USA, weighing in at 229 pounds, one half of the Internet's Tag Team Champions, and one half of the WCW World Tag Team Champions, Hail Joy! I can't imagine the amount of pressure he's feeling carrying around two championships. Yeah, the pressure is on when you have one title, but with two, it has to be immense. Hauling around two titles does put a huge target on his back, though. Everyone wants a piece of him, a shot at one of those titles, but he's holding it on with a vice-like grip. The ring is packed as this eight-way match gets started here. There will be seven losers and one very big winner. This is almost like a seven-on-one handicap match. There are no allegiances that you can rely on in a match like this. Paint a picture for me, Corey. Hypothetically, what are some tactics you'd use to win an ODQ match? Well, I'd stash some kendo sticks beforehand. Maybe have a buddy waiting to give me a much-needed hand. Maybe throw Saxton like a fastball special. That's the beauty of a no disqualification match. You can do all that and not get dinged. The sky is the limit. section. Catapulting down on the opponent. A couple of individuals with an equal purpose uniting forces to dispose of their competition. Left on the turnbuckles. Delivers the knee. Drives a foot into the stomach. Oh, what a counter. situation don't last long. Let's see how quickly this develops. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. Inside out. He's absorbed some damage already. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Now we know what the five think from the top. Be carried around with ease. Here's the pin. Title on the line. And he gets the shoulder up before two. Not even a near fall there. And that definitely made solid impact. Expected that one. Back suplex, no. And there was some force on that move. Ball kick right off point. Ooh, harsh kick. Big knee to the midsection. Chance to block any of 
those. champion what a win he's fought like a champion this whole match and now he has the title to prove it